what do you see on this paper? If you said a heart, you're wrong. There is no heart on this paper. We see a heart because of negative space. There is a hole where the heart was. That's why we see a heart. So this is negative space heart. Positive space heart, negative space heart. Positive space heart, negative space heart. Our project today is gonna to have to do with this concept. What do you see in this image? People will say different things. If you look at the white, you can see a vase. But what if you look at the black? Do you see the two faces, the two profiles, the sides of the faces? Can you see both? Can you switch between looking at the white and seeing the vase, and then looking at the black and seeing the two faces and profile? That's called figure ground reversal. Figure ground is the part of the picture that you're drawing. It's what you're drawing. When you do figure ground reversal, those two things switch. If you're looking at the white, the faces are the negative space. And if you're looking at the black, the vase is the negative space. This image was first made in 1915 by the psychologist Edgar Rubens, but has been created many times with many different variations. The same concept has been used over and over again, like with these women's legs and men's legs, or this tree and lion and gorilla. Playing with this concept can be used a lot in art. What is the negative space and what is the positive space? We're gonna make art that deals with this today. In this picture, the negative space between the lizards on the top becomes the positive space for the lizards on the bottom and vice versa. We're gonna draw something like this. Now, you don't have to do lizards or dragons or whatever those things were. You can do really anything you want. I've gotten, you know, trees that turn into cities. I've gotten plenty of other things. Um, but if you don't have an idea, just do some kind of animal, like kind of giraffes or um, lizards or something like I did. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just start drawing the lizards and the necks for them on one side of my paper, right side up. Use a pencil, because this concept can get kind of confusing and you may make a mistake. With a pencil, you can always erase. Now, once you have your stuff drawn on one side, we're gonna kind of flip the paper over and the negative space between the two lizards is gonna become the positive space for my stuff on the other side. That means the space between the lizards on one side is gonna become the neck for the other side. And we're gonna do this a couple times. It's okay to have the neck going right off the page. I'm gonna make, you know, let's say three lizards or dragons or whatever they are on this side. But remember, the negative space from one side becomes the positive space for the other side. That's what figure ground reversal is all about. It can be confusing. Remember, next can go right off the page. That'll make it make more sense. Now, once I have my stuff kind of sketched in, I can go over it with some color. I am using oil pastels because I'm gonna use some washes and watercolors, but you can use whatever you want. Remember, if you use markers, you will not be able to watercolor or use washes. Um, Sharpie markers, permanent markers work well for that, but not normal markers because the lines will bleed and get fuzzy. But use whatever you got and add a lot of details in. I understand this can be confusing. Remember, the neck for these lizards or whatever they are is the negative space, the space between the lizards when you flip over the paper. Now I'm gonna start adding color now. What I have made is a wash um, using just a little bit of paint and water um, that won't um, cover up the pastels that I've used, won't cover up crayon or Sharpies or something either. Um, but you can use watercolors, that works fine too, or you can just color it in. You decide, use what you got. When you finish whatever's on one side, let's flip it over, and I am gonna color the other side. If you have everything kind of on each side, the same colors, the 
uh, illusion of um, figure ground reversal will just be easier to see and I think it works best that way. So I am gonna make orange on this side for my lizard creature things. So I've let this dry and I don't think it's quite done. So I'm gonna come back with some pastel and just go over um, stuff and add stuff until I'm happy with it. Um, that's just something I like to do after I um, finish watercoloring or doing washes like I did. I just like to check and make sure I'm happy because it is okay to go back in and add more. So keep going until you're happy with what you got. Um, figure ground reversal is a difficult concept and it can be confusing. So I hope you like it. Um, I hope you, it doesn't frustrate you too much. And I can't wait to see what you come up with. Have fun with this.